interesting story of Hagar and Ishmael made the Sunday school children to stay focused listening to the story. The service started with praise and worship. Then Sister Nana Nadesh entered the topic with the topic of the day. She explained the following. After the birth of Isaac, Sega told Abraham to send away Ishmael, who was his son, who was his son too. After refusing to obey, God told him to do what Sega had said, which he obeyed. So Hagar took bread and water when when going, and God sustained them when the water got finished. At the end, God promised to bless Ishmael too and give him descendants. She said we should never help God to accomplish his promises because he will always do what he promised to do. The service ended with the collection of offerings and a word of prayers. Reporting from PC from PCI Junior Boya and Bondeman Jones. He was a great persecutor of, of Christians who thought by killing Christians he was doing God a favor. He was a student of Gamelia, but one day on his way to execute Christians, he was stopped by Christ himself. Why persecute me? said Jesus. Paul was scared and surprised at all this why he was misled. He came out of this experience and transformed and determined to work for God. He started working for God and experienced various persecution, but he didn't give up. He went to prison several times for defending the gospel of Jesus Christ. He, God chose and used him to bring or introduce the gospel to the Gentiles. He wrote many books in the Bible, but that is helping us. This is the story of a man who became persecuted with, with what he was used to persecute others. I'm Kemdom Nina Joyce, representing from PCI Junior Boya. The month of the November, the month of 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 the il est à retenir que pour contraindre Pharaon à libérer les peuples hébreux retenus en esclavage et pour montrer la toute-puissance d'Israël, les dix catastrophes se sont abattues sur l'Égypte. Les eaux du Nil transformées en sang, l'invasion des greniers, les moustiques, les mouches, la disparition des troupeaux, l'épidémie du pistule, l'orage des gueules, les profilerations des sauterelles, les ténèbres et les, la mort des premiers-nés. Les dix plaies sont les dix châtiments que Dieu inflige en Égypte et exige à Pharaon de laisser partir les Hébreux qu'il a mis en captivité.